we're all doing good. Welcome to another Ants Bennett video. So as you can see here, we are going to be making a new like mini terrarium for the Concrete Warriors for when they come out. Don't worry guys, it's not going to be too big of a terrarium, only because the Concrete Warriors can only fit in something like this. Believe it or not, this, is ac this was actually their old Outworld. The reason I chose... Okay, let me explain this. So the reason I chose the old Outworld is because it still has, might still have some of their chemical trails on it. So that, that, that led me to a hypothesis that, um, that they might maybe recognize their place. So basically what we're going to do is you see this little crab hide here. We're going to take this out. Because, guys, this actually used to be um, a, a temporary enclosure for, like, a crab I was going to release. I don't, I, I don't know if you all saw that clip, but here's an old plant. I always tend to save the old plants so I can use them again. Alright, guys, so let me just go dump out the soil. Alright, everyone, let's just dump off. I'm going to dust off this enclosure. And I'll see you guys after that. Alright, so in goes the sand. We're only going to put a little bit of sand. Because I've told you guys in the past, like, if you put too much sand in their outworld that is, like, moist and compacted together, like, it will... Okay, guys, I think this is too much sand. I'm going to have to dump some of this out. Only because I want the concrete warriors to nest in their test tube for now. Or in their new test tube that I will be giving them. Because if you guys don't know about the concrete warriors, they have like a test tube that has no water reservoir. So I have to change their setup eventually because if they have no uh, like water reservoir. And that water reservoir like where the cotton is, it just dries up. It's not going to be good because ants do need some moisture in their nest. Alright, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, landscape this the way I want it. So I'm going to like make a slope like somewhere here and like have the test tubes on this side here. So that's basically what I'm going to do. So I'm going to, I'm, so the theme of it, it's probably going to be like more of a forest fire thing. Like, so basically what it is, it's going to be like, like, a, like after a forest fire happened, like everything's going to be like looking burnt. So let's get to the decorations guys. And, and every, hey everyone. So I forgot I need to put a hole so that if I want to connect the Concrete Warriors to something else, I will definitely be able to do it. So just give me a few minutes to cut out the hole and we'll see each other for the decorations. Alright guys, so this is my favorite part, the decorations. And by the way, I'm done with the hole. This is what it looks like. I had to tape it a bit because there was some issues trying to make a hole so I do not want any concrete warriors escaping so we got some dead plants here that I found around my city so I'm planning on just like sprinkling them on this slope here but not I'm not I'm planning on not putting too much because then like uh, then it can make a bridge for the concrete warriors to get out and we do not want something like that to happen So here we also got a bunch of rocks I'm planning on putting like only two rocks for this setup But don't worry guys. We will use uh, more rocks for the next But I think these would look good. I don't know what you guys think but I think I think these will look good. So basically, since the 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 hole for the the vinyl tube 
is not exactly on the lands on the landscape. I'm just gonna like make a, a bridge here. Like so that the concrete warriors they can like get up. I don't know if they'll actually fall for it though, because unfortunately they are um they are more of a terrestrial species. They tend they don't tend to climb a lot of things uh, most times. Yeah, you'll never see, you'll you hardly ever see tetramorium on like on like high places. Like usually a lot of the ants that do that are carpenter ants or any other more arboreal species. All right guys, we got our rocks placed. Now let's get ready for some special rock. All right everyone, sorry I just skipped this step because I do not want the video to be too long, but what do you guys think about this um, terrarium for the Concrete Warriors? It's just a simple terrarium, it's not like anything complex like Ants Canada or Serpa, Serpa Design. But it's definitely a pretty decent terrarium if you want to house like some, like a small colony. Then yeah, this would be the good terrarium for any t terrestrial species. As you can see, the landscape is not that high, but it's still like a little bit high in case they just want to climb a bit. And I also put some live, I mean not live, they're not exactly live, but I try to, these are like some uh, pine leaves. So I put those in there just to mimic maybe some live, live plants growing back from the forest fire. So yeah guys, so hopefully our colony, the Concrete Warriors, will love this setup. Their test tube will be on this side here. Like it will be placed like right here. Right there. Where that line is. And yeah, I hope you guys stay safe. We'll get through this COVID pandemic together. And... Make sure you make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when my next upload comes up. And if the comments are open, comment down below what you think about um, this terrarium here, like how it looks. How you can even post how the concrete warriors are doing. I'm totally fine with that. Um, and yeah, enjoy the insects among us, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye, everyone. Alright, guys, so, I have some great news coming up soon. We will be continuing this enclosure that we haven't finished for a long time. And it is 